you can sell in stock photography. I promise you that you can make money with your photos. The problem is that you don't know how to do it. I know it takes time. Of course it takes time, okay, to build up the galleries and to find how to do it properly to be able to make money. But that's why I'm here. <laughs> I do have a full playlist in stock photography and I teach you from zero, from beginner level, how you have to do it to be able to take a stock photography seriously. Because the problem is that years ago, a stock photography was like super easy. You just had to upload random pictures and they were selling, you know, but nowadays no anymore because the market is super saturated. Okay. So you have to know what you have to shoot. And I'm going to tell you now so many tips about how you can sell more in stock photography, what it sells. And I'm going to show you as well, my best selling pictures, which I think this is gold because if it works for me, it may work for you as well. So the first thing you have to do, apart of watching those videos I told you in the playlist, you can watch them later if you want to take this seriously, is to check the newsletters and forums of every website you are in. I'm in Getty Images, I'm in Offset Images, which is macro websites because you sell for more money, the pictures. And then I'm in um, 123 RF in deposit photos and in Adobe stock. I'm in all of those. My galleries are not huge. I'm not making a full-time income, okay? It's a very humble income, but still better than nothing. And I promise you I'm gonna grow it because I'm gonna push myself to upload more because last month was quite good in getting images for me and I realized I'm wasting so much time and money because I'm involved in so many projects, guys. I'm doing this YouTube channel. I have my private community. I do client work. And it's a lot of work and I don't have time for stock photography. <laughs> but I'm gonna make time because there is a lot of potential over there. By the way, subscribe to my channel if you like photography and creativity and content creation as well, because I publish weekly videos about the industry and about how to make money with your camera. So if you are into that, please subscribe, like the video if you take something good from it and click the bell button to be notified. I know it's annoying, but I have to say it all the time. <laughs> So yes, guys, you have to check those newsletters and those forums. So when you learn properly how to do a stock photography, how to title and how to keyword, again, everything is going to be down below for you to check if you don't know it yet. I have to tell you, unfortunately for some people, the pictures that sell the most are with people on it because beginners, they don't want to use models. They don't want to use people. I know it's a pain in the ass to have people sign the model release all the time, okay? I know it's very annoying. Maybe the person doesn't even appear in the picture, like it, it barely appears. Maybe the profile, the shadow, it doesn't matter. They are very strict. You need a model release. I'm not gonna get into that because you have that in the other videos. But guys, you need to shoot with people because that's what companies want. Think about what you see around you. I live in London and there is publicity everywhere, but I mean, it doesn't matter where you live. There is publicity everywhere and big posters everywhere. And if you think about that, check out those posters every single day. Guys, this is an exercise for you. Every time you walk around, you are waiting in the bus stop, you are waiting in the tube, check the adverts. Those pictures are stock photography. And I can promise you that 99% of those posters and advertising campaigns, they have people on it. If it's a bank, it's not gonna advertise the bank without people on it. They would put people smiling or handling money or whatever it is. If it's traveling, they're gonna want someone traveling in a landscape, for example. They want people on the pictures. So what you can do is use friends and family because it's easy to get model releases. And many times you can find as well models in your area, beginner models or things like that, who are very happy to collaborate with you for free in exchange for photos. Obviously, you have to explain to the model that those pictures will be sold in stock photography websites for commercial use. Normally, they don't care. I did it before and the models are happy with it. They want to shoot with me and then in exchange, they give me the model release signed for me to upload. So all you have to do is organize photo shoots for stock photography. You can make a career out of this. And for those who don't want to invest so much money, I have some good news for you because so many sessions I saw time ago, they weren't that intended for stock photography and they actually sold a lot in stock photography. And that's why I'm gonna show you my best selling pictures because if you don't want to shoot with people, you're gonna be able to shoot other things which are maybe easier for you and you don't have to invest that much time in booking models or shooting with people but I highly recommend you that if you really want to sell because what it sells the most 
is lifestyle shots of people using technology, in a bank, a moving house. All of these topics are very searched for in Getty Images, for example. So all of that is what is going to sell the most, like actually everyday life situations. So all mixed up using models, that's going to sell the most. Let's go to the fun part. I'm going to show you in my app because Getty Images, when you sign up as a contributor, they have an amazing app where you can see the views you get in the pictures and your sales. So I'm going to go to show you the pictures, my best selling pictures. I'm not going to talk about figures. I do talk about figures on my private community. There I show you even the contracts and I show you who bought my pictures as well, the companies, very big companies, some of them, but figures, I don't share them on YouTube. I share them on my private community if you want to take a look. Anyway, I'm going to open the app. So this is the app here. Okay, so if you are in Getty Images, the app is very good because it's going to allow you to see the briefs from companies. So they literally tell you what to shoot. So this is super easy because you just have to shoot what they are telling you and then they're going to buy you the pictures. Obviously, they are good. Otherwise, they may buy someone else's, but you have more possibilities. So, for example, because I live in the UK, they recommend me, for example, this brief, BBC Kids Collection, UK celebrations with children from 0 to 16. So it's very specific and it's very good because they're going to tell you exactly what they need. If you're not in Getty Images, don't worry because every website has a newsletter or a forum where they tell you about briefs or they tell you what they sell. Focus on that rather than uploading pictures randomly and not knowing what it sells because otherwise you're going to waste your time doing keywords and it's very annoying because you're going to be wasting a lot of time. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to the best selling pictures. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say just a few of them because otherwise if I had to tell you all myself, we're gonna stay here forever. So the best selling pictures in Getty images. I'm not gonna talk about the others because what I sell the most is in Getty, okay? So it wouldn't be a good video to start showing you every single website what I sell. But to be fair, what I sell the most is in Getty images. So the first picture, the best selling, it was an intention for a stock photography and is from Havana, Cuba. A beautiful car, remember to remove all the logos or otherwise you're going to be rejected all the time. I did remove all the logos from the car and I sold it 40 times. The next one, an ostrich. I wouldn't believe I would sell this one so many times. I don't know why, for whichever reason, I thought wildlife photography wouldn't sell so much in a stock. And I was surprised because I'm selling a lot of wildlife photography. So you don't need model release of the ostrich. <laughs> So you don't want model releases or shooting with people or preparing these photo shoots because you don't have time and stock photography is just a side hustle. Wildlife photography could be something to do or travel photography as well. We're going to go into that later as well. So this one, 15 cells. I know Getty Images needed these kind of pictures because they sent me a newsletter and I took the time to read it and they said so many companies were looking for dogs being groomed so I was thinking, okay, I'm going to go to Spain soon. I'm going to see my beautiful doggy and I'm going to be with my mom. So she was grooming her and I asked her to do a photo shoot with her. She had to sign the model release, obviously, but she's my mom. Okay, so she signed it. <laughs> but this is another tip. Always, um, when you do a photo shoot, take pictures showing the face and not showing the face, both. Because many companies, they want to put a face in the advert, in the campaign. But so many companies, they don't want to show faces. This one sold quite a lot, but my mom is not there. I mean, it's there, but not the face, you know? So the next one is self-portrait photography. And again, it wasn't intended for stock photography. It was just for my memories. It's from a solo trip I did to Ecuador in South America. And it was just for myself. And I uploaded it and it's selling a lot in tourism boards because obviously is in Ecuador, it's a travel picture, clearly. You don't even see my face, so introverts. This is something you can do as well. You can be looking away, looking to the sky, looking to a mountain, and you don't have to be recognizable in the picture. And you don't need a model release. You need it, but you sign it yourself. So this is a very good trick, guys. I sell a lot of my self-portraits. In another website as well, even creative self-portraits I'm selling. I don't know where are they being published, but they are being sold. The next one as well, landscape photography, no model release needed. It was an intention for stock photography, but it's selling. And it's selling because, I mean, it, it is popular, this waterfall, but it's not like a tourism destination, like so, so, so popular that is burned out already in stock photography websites. I think that's why it's selling. The next one, my niece. 
Another tip guys, uh, seasonal pictures. So if Eastern is coming up, Christmas is coming up, back to school is coming up, whatever is coming up, shoot for that because companies need pictures to feed their campaigns. But you have to post the pictures well before it happens. So don't upload in December Christmas pictures. You're gonna have to do the decorations before and shoot maybe in July or even before, maybe, I don't know, June. Because companies, they need the pictures in advance to plan the marketing campaigns. But if you upload beginning of December or even in December, I did sell some because last minute companies as well buy pictures in Christmas. But extra tip is actually uploading well before the event because the companies gonna search for that well before for the marketing campaigns. Another landscape from Ecuador, same thing, no people, no model release needed. And the next one as well, me diving, uh, snorkeling basically, in Galapagos Island in Ecuador with my GoPro. So for those who ask me many times which camera you have to have, this was a GoPro, no amazing resolution, and it got sold and Fujifilm Europe bought it. I always tell you this, stock photography is not just only about the money, it's actually the fact that you get exposure and also the companies that buy your pictures. Because the fact that Fujifilm Europe is choosing to buy my picture before many others, I'm sorry, but I feel proud, you know, <laughs> it's a very good thing. So it's not just the money. You're going to get grumpy many times. Oh, this picture, it got sold for one pound or 20p. It happens a lot. It happens to me as well in getting images as well. OK, but at least some big companies, they are buying it. So it's not all so bad, you know, next one, Havana. Havana again, look, these pictures are so beautiful, like super, super beautiful, very timeless as well. No people on it. I mean, there are people, but not recognizable at all. So I didn't need model release. And I'm going to leave it here because the rest, you know, there are many here, but they are not bestsellers. What I want you to take from this video is first, if you want to sell in stock photography, don't shoot for shooting, shoot with intention. Take the newsletters first of the websites you are into, Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Getty Images, wherever you are at, take their newsletters, take the forums. Don't be lazy because otherwise, for being lazy, it's going to be worse because you're going to be tagging and keywording forever for pictures they may not sell. So be intentional, take newsletters, take forums, and also take the briefs. In Getty Images is very good because they tell you the briefs exactly what they are looking for and they show you even examples of the images. So it's very good for inspiration. If you don't want it to be that time consuming and you don't want to plan photo shoots with people, with models, you don't want model releases, blah, blah, blah. Then travel photography, I find that it sells a lot, but normally better where there is people on it. If you think about Airbnb and all these companies, every time they send you a newsletter of destinations, there are people on it because we are humans. So they are trying to sell trips to a human being. So they want a human in the picture. You know what I mean? So it's better with people. You can do self-portrait photography. This is something I do a lot. If you follow my channel, you know this. And it's great because I sign my own model releases and sometimes people from Ecuador texted me, Laura, you appeared here and they sent me a picture of the place where I appeared in an airline, you know, and it's always nice, you know, and even if you are an introvert, you saw already, you don't have to show your face. You can be looking away, you can be walking away from the camera. I don't know. It's very easy. And then wildlife, surprisingly, is selling as well. So I don't know, I didn't expect that and it's selling. Take out the playlist in stock photography, please. If you really want to make money with stock photography because you can do it. And I talk about figures in my private community. In my private community, a part of sharing my figures in stock photography, I also teach you further how to make a living with your camera. I serve free resources, tutorials, and way many more things you can check down below. I'm going to link in there if you want to take a look. And that's all for today. So subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Like the video if you took something good from it. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.